Hello everyone, it is Ryan back on the Syntax Byte. In this video, what I'm gonna show you how to do is if you have a list of addresses in Excel, we're gonna get the postal code or zip code for those addresses. You can do this in bulk. Uh, we're gonna use a service called PostGrid and it's free up to 500 addresses and there's no code required. So uh, to get started, what I would recommend is, first of all, if you have your addresses in a file that has a lot of other data in it, pull the addresses out, put them in their own separate file. Uh, that's just going to make it a little bit easier to work with. If there's any errors that occur through the process, uh, it's going to be easier. And you know what? It's going to modify this file uh, using the service anyway. So what you're going to want to do is pull them out and you can always add them back in. Later, you can just copy and paste the information into your file or you can use something like a like an index match or something to, you know, you could add it as a separate sheet on your file and then and then do it that way. I'm not going to cover that in this video. Uh, but I would just recommend pulling them out to a separate file so you can work with them. The next thing I'm going to do is if you have a uh, a list of them like this where they're all on the same line, that's totally fine. You do not have to split up the addresses, but I'm going to show you really quickly how to do that if you have a nice address format and it just might increase the likelihood that the service is able to find the correct postal or zip code for the address. Again, the service can sort of filter through that stuff and, and find the right code, even if they are all on the same line, but ju this just increases the rate of success. The last thing you want to do is check on your line one that you have titles. So if you have an Excel sheet where there's no titles, you just have the data, you need to insert a column at the top and then give it a label. So I'm going to give this label as address. Okay. And that's very important because otherwise, first of all, when you're in the wizard later in PostGrid, it's not going to work if, uh, it, sorry, it will work, but it's going to show you weird labels. If you don't have any labels, it's just going to use your first row. And then secondly, uh, you won't get a postal code or zip code for your first row. If it's being used as the labels, uh, it's not going to identify that, that there's no labels. And I didn't see an option for not having a column header row. So just make sure that you have a column header row. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you really quickly. If you have addresses that are cleanly separated like mine, I've got a comma between the, between the things. What you can do is you can go over here uh, to data, do text to columns, delimited, put your comma. It'll give you a preview of what it's going to do. This, this split very cleanly, go finish. Then I can say city, province, or state. I'm going to add a column here, country, sorry, country. And I'll do Canada and Canada. If you have a short amount of addresses, it's easy to do this. I would recommend doing it. Uh, just makes it easy. So that make sure it finds it. I mean, likely your addresses are all the same country anyway, whether it's Canada, the United States or somewhere else. Um, so it's easy to add that in. And that way it just has a little bit more information. Uh, so it knows what it's looking for. And uh, the, the last step here, very, very important guys to make sure you get a postal code and a zip code for your addresses. You're going to add a column in. I'm going to call mine postal code slash zip. You're going to leave it blank. Okay. So just add that column in, make sure it's there and we'll select it in the wizard later. This is where it's going to place those, uh, those postal codes or addresses. The final step here, and this is another reason I recommend using a separate file, don't use your main file, separate them out into a different file, is you gotta save it as a CSV. So you go save as, you can name it as the same name, but CSV, okay? Save it up, perfect. It's gonna give you this warning because you're using a CSV format now, not all the features of Excel are available, but that's what we need in order to be able to upload it to the service. You can, you can copy them back into an XLSX file later. Um, again, I recommend using a separate file. So you're going to come over here to PostGrid. First of all, I'll leave the link to PostGrid down in the description. You get 500 addresses for free. I am not affiliated with PostGrid. I just tried the service and I thought it worked pretty well. I thought it'd be useful for you guys. So that's why I'm making this video. Uh, but I mean, it's a pretty cool service, 500 addresses for free. Probably for most of you, that's more than enough. Uh, and if it's not, hey, I mean, PostGrid seems to work pretty well. Give it a try for 500. And if you like it, maybe maybe consider purchasing, uh, purchasing their service. So, um, but yeah, I'll leave the link down in the description. Basically, you just want to come over here to the address verification and do the sign up. It's under products. They have a print and mail API and an address verification. You want the address verification. When you log in, you're going to get this dashboard. It's going to look like this. 
what you can do is you can click over here on the bulk verify go to upload file and then you just want to upload the file so you just want to go ahead and do uh, do this here and then you go like that and then it's gonna bring you over to map fields so it says if you have a address in a single column you only need to map line one the rest of the fields are optional okay so if you just had one you would come over here you would you would click the one and then you would click confirm field mappings I have multiple so I'm gonna do city province uh, province or state uh, country and then you also want to make sure you select your postal code zip zip column right make sure you select that and go confirm field mappings it'll give you a report it'll tell you how many free addresses you have how many addresses it found in the file you can see if if you go over 500 it's five cents an address so I mean, depending on how badly you need the postal codes it probably probably fair price I don't know click confirm it'll do some processing on it you go ahead and download a CSV file go save go ahead and open that up and so perfect so what it what it does here is it's the same as your file you can see it's kind of it's actually capitalized stuff which is fine and then you can see here uh, they added postal code and zip code so there you are there's your there's your postal code or your zip code you can just delete the rest of this stuff if you don't want it or you know whatever and copy it into your file so that's how you can find a postal code or a zip code for a list of addresses in Excel it's free and easy uh, and you can do it for up to 500 addresses uh, with no code so if you guys found the video helpful drop a like down below drop a comment if it's not working or uh, you just had something to say and I will see you guys in the next video thanks it's been Ryan on the syntax bite have a good day